This is conversation that might make some people uncomfortable. But we had to get a little uncomfortable sometimes. A little discomfort is necessary. We play with time by a rock of a lot of We play with time, we play with time by a rock. We sit in here with royalty. We sit in here with royalty. This is important. Um, Ojo has embarked on a journey of curation over the last few years, curating of important conversations. And when Diane came to me and said, we need to talk to Miss Spring, she said, Miss Springer. I said, who Miss sent to? I said, please hold and make a call. <laughs> so we sit in here with royalty. For those of you who don't know, she is Dr. Pearl and Springer. She is still considered a poet laureate of Port of Spain. And she is the woman and one of the major energies responsible for the retelling uh, and the curation of the Cambuli reenactment, the Cambuli story. She's the, the keeper of the story and making sure that we don't forget. And there are plenty of us who don't know. They, we don't know that we forget. So mm -hmm. as a result, we want to sit down here today and ask Miss Entu to indulge us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being with us. Um, so Miss Entu, tell us, and we know you are the ultimate storyteller. So tell me the story of Cambuli and Carnival. How do you think that? Well, you know, as you were talking just now about us forgetting, not knowing that we forget. Leroy Clark has a wonderful saying. He says, history pretends amnesia. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a wonderful saying? Yes. History pretends am amnesia. So we get a kind of history that forget the real history of our people. So the narrative is, and that is one of the people. Yeah, we like that with narrative. <laughs> the narrative is that the carnival came from the French. It is very, very well established that there were two carnivals. And the, those who have taken the time to document it have documented it. And I must refer to Honest Liverpool's wonderful book, Rituals of Power and Rebellion, which maybe is the best source of information that documents the contribution of the African to the country. I have plenty of things, but I won't put on there. My bibliographer right now. So there were definitely two cannibals. The cannibals of the Christian Europeans. And Christian, but that didn't stop them from having and sleep people. And the ordinary African, the enslaved African who was given certain days off at Christmas and Carnival to keep the enslaved people happy. Happy. <laughs> happy. I have a poem which says, nothing in my hands I can except the creativity waiting in my jeans, the strength of my hands, the memory of my greatness. And that was inside of us. We brought our ancestral knowledge. We brought the memory of our masquerades and masquerade is very much a part of life in West Africa. And so we remembered our days of enslavement by celebrating with our Cambodian. 
Cambule, they say, is a French word. Cambule, don't, don't came. For me, Cambule is K A M B U L E. From the research and writings of our sister Maureen Warner Lewis in that seminal work where she documents um, Guinea's other sons is called, where she documents the African, the contribution of the African spiritually and all the cultural forms we should learn to be. So the Africans would go into the cane fields. There would be a fire, which most likely themselves said. Yeah. <laughs> and they would have their war guns, their chant while leading in front with their songs, and they would go with their flambeau and put out the fires. At emancipation, that flambeau, that cambule, that procession became powerful emblems and symbols of emancipation. And they would celebrate an emancipation day, 1st of August, 1838. Who could forget that moment? Now we have to talk about that area, <laughs> that Mova, that Lavantel, that hey, Belmont yes, area. The trade in our ancestors ended in 1807. After that, a set, a set, a set of Yoruba people came. There were some before, but an overwhelming number in comparison came then, and they settled in that area. And of course, they had their traditions, the ancestral masquerades the ancestors, the spirituality, the Ifaunisha spirituality. So there was a convergence of all these elements into the Kambule, the celebration of emancipation. Now I, I am an African, Various peoples were brought here. I'm not in the separation by tribes and people. I claim all of Africa. Mm -hmm. I claim all of Africa. So wherever the traditions come from, as African, they come here, I claim them as mine. That's right. Whether it's Congo, Yoruba, Hausa, whoever it is, it's mine. But that is. Mines. Mines with an S. Right? So I say, pour moi. So, we are the conclusions of all of these elements of spirituality, of culture, coming together to celebrate emancipation. All these that are now called traditional masking forms, which are being chased away by the bikini and beach. <laughs> she chose violence. <laughs> she chose violence. <laughs> well, it's worse than that. It's worse than that because the carnival of emancipation has been coerced and burglarized by a lot of the same people who would have not have had anything to, to do with the Cambodia. Mm -hmm. But it's an opportunity to exploit. So they exploit the slave labor, you know, they exploit the culture. Mm -hmm. But anyway, strain all of the So, so these elements came together after emancipation 
on the Kambule celebrated the emancipation or the different forms. The ancestral masquerades were very key. Some of them are the Moko Jambi, the Pelo. And then you have things like the Dambering Ball, which is a satirical reinterpretation of the Gennady Festival. Right, which would have been French. No, no, Miss no, Lady. No, okay. Okay, and see, see. Say it must see. Be <laughs> The Gale Day Festival is a Yoruba festival in which tribute is chain is, is is given to female power and energy. Right. So in the masquerade, as it is in the ceremonies in Nigeria. You see the big bottom and the big breast. Yes, same, yes. right? Go, go tete, go bonda, go genu, go tet, go pata, <laughs> to tap. <laughs> you know? And taken from the spiritual realm, this thing was given a new form of satire because the same people who walking in the house and seeing all the deformities. Go Coco, go Lolo. Yes, Lolo and Coco is what you're thinking. Yes. <laughs> Coming down to play that and satirize. So when you have the match, they call the schoolmaster, stand up there. And he said, Madam Grove Bonda. And he said, you know, come with the traditional music. Bam, ba da ba dam, ba da ba dam, bam, ba da ba da ba da ba da ba dam, bam ba dam, ba dam, ba dam, ba dam, bam ba dam, ba dam, ba da da. Right, the traditional music. And they have the all the parts and the and and the um, match they call schoolmaster looks so disgusting, but is really enjoying it. And all of these speak to deformity. So inside of that Kambule was very risky, as you would say. Very satirical, you know, all the spiritual elements that we now lose in so much of and almost lost in 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 the in the in the carnival. The Moko Jambi tore the ancestral spirit that looks over the community and watches it. And the dwarf that follows him, that reminds us of the great Obatala, who given the responsibility for forging human beings out of the dirt in Ilefe, was tricked by a shoe and drank the palm, palm wine and created people with deformities and reminds us to be focused to be focused. Today is his day at the village to battle up. And I ask that I never be distracted from the work that I have to do and create errors. You know, all of this inside of the, the Jab Molasi, reminiscent of the plantation, where in that molasses vat, Mm. It could cut off a hand, or somebody could lose their life by falling in, you know? So there was a, a coalescence between the memories of enslavement and the use of the spirituality and the remembered tradition to forge a whole new cultural form that we know now as Kanda. That we know now as Kanda. Mm -hmm. So the carnival came from the belly of the Africa. The carnival that we know now that is exploited. And 
Let me not say too much. <laughs> Miss Andrew, but, you could give like a like a short answer to what Kamala is. <laughs> 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 As a teller, <laughs> you're supposed to let her talk. But yes, if we if 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 it is, we have right. to give like a short synopsis because nothing about this story is short or simple. But if you had to give a short synopsis of what the Kambule is in relation to the carnival, what okay. would that be? So, the Kambule is really the remembrance of the fact that people, people fought to have the right for cultural expression. Hmm. People fought for that. People were prepared to give their lives for that. And we forget that there's a history of resistance that African people, nobody handed them emancipation. It was fought for. Right. As late as 1837, 1835, you know, there were riots. Trinidad had one that has one of the highest rates of runaways mm. in the region. Emancipation was fought for overtly, surreptitiously, and and the carnival we have today didn't just happen. It yeah. was fought for by African people yeah. against the might of the colonial government. You see, and we win. That's right. We win. <laughs> and a lot of people don't understand the link between emancipation and carnival. We don't understand that the emancipation was actually the carnival. And they try to dress it up and make it respectable. So they shift it, they move they it. They try to make it respectable. They deliberately and viciously and unconscionably changed the date of the carnival from 1st of August to the European carnival, to the two days before the carnival. I think it was in the 1920s that happened. Yeah, but that happened. Yes. So the so somebody. 1858. They changed, you know. 1858. It, wasn't it 1858 when they said um, the lines of the play? <laughs> Speaking of the play, for people who've never seen the play, they would hear about characters like Captain Baker and Joe Talmana and Caruso Jane, etc., etc. Who were some of, and they would think that they are just characters, except these were real, lived people now energy that still moves amongst us and manifests in different ways. Who are these people? Who was Baker? Who was Joe Talmana? Who were the Jamets? Hmm. Baker, Longford, Kuel, Epimove. Hmm. Translate. <laughs> Translate. A bad cruel man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family that speaks <laughs> blue and patwa in case you haven't realized. Yes. <laughs> I just talk the patra and them just talk it when they want to mock me. <laughs> and when I talk to them in patra, they understand very good and answer me in English. Okay. <laughs> but it's a tradition that needs to be passed on that is dying, you know. <sighs> but that is to go in another direction. So um But Baker. Baker. Baker came to this country. I don't remember the precise date. Yes, but in 1877, that Captain Baker came. He soon developed a terrible name, riding wrong, the tongue in spit and polish, whatever he be, he ought to say. And he decided that he's to kill this community. Right. Stop it once and for all. Stop it. In 1880, he went on a rampage. He locked up stick man and stick woman. It had a big stick fight guy behind the, the, the jail on Frederick Street. Mm -hmm. 
clothes don't hold that. Now, then as now with our gowns, right? Kubu town, this place, that place, Maribone, um, but they come together. They come together and they plan for it. And they plan for it. And because he did the worst thing that you could do to a boy man, take away the boy, right. jail them, and they plan. And they get together in the barricade. And the woman was always important. But of course. People just think that the word Janet is a baby. Hmm. <laughs> Show them the way. Show them the way. <laughs> they sent to me. Had a particular governor. When they passed the amelioration act. In 1823. We just remember these dates. <laughs> <laughs> she had become here. <laughs> 1823. The governor at the time write to the colonial secretary. Because in that amelioration act, they say they're no longer to, to flog women. He said, oh, I could, oh, how I could control these women? Hey, the mouth terrible. <laughs> It is the end bad. Yes. If I can't beat them, I can't control wow. them. So yeah, if it had like if it had two thousand plugins for the year, mm -hmm. fifteen hundred more women. Good. Yeah. It was good bad behavior. We were yeah. good bad behavior. The, the whole thing about raising up your clothes. Right. Comes so from, from, that, from that. the other day when the lady they went to search in her house. Down. And they didn't find what it is they thought they were looking for. And she get locked up because she raised up her clothes and shake her body. <laughs> she raised up, she close. And she shake, she won't see. She shake. That comes from point of heritage. People don't know, you know. So we, know. we have that in the play too. Right, nice. Okay. The Jamets, Baker, Talmana. Talmana. Joe Talmana is one of the first heroes of Trinidad mm. and Tobago. Like all the big heroes, like um, Butler, mm. Hyalima, they are good over here. So, Joe Talmana was the one who used the bar and nearly knocked Baker off the horse. And like Sandy in Tobago, they never find Sandy. Sandy is the one who had the rebellion in Tobago in 1770. They never find him, they never find him. Uh -huh. Never find him. Wow. So Joel must him. be lived to be a good old age, to a good old age. You never know. Because he did go to Mar Maruga and join up with the Americans. But the Americans are so strong possibility. And, and teach them how to fight war. Well, Could be. Hmm. I must write a story about that. <laughs> That would, be nice. that would be nice. So we have this story. We have this this thing that is such a major part of our history that is not really taught hmm. in the schools the way it should be taught. It do it not taught at all. It not taught. No it not taught. So you take it upon yourself. You say, okay, I will not write a play about it. How did that whole? How did the writing of the play come about, and then the staging of the reenactment every every okay. year? At that time, I was a member of the Regional Carnival Committee. And John Cupid was, the, was a member of the committee. And John had this idea about reenacting the company rights. Mm -hmm. And he got together with Tony Hall and Norman yeah. for the time. Mm -hmm. Um, and they wrote this thing. Now this thing was about 20, 25 minutes long. It focused on the actual battle. They had four something. <laughs> and they had, um, because there was somebody who was an actual um, eyewitness. eyewitness who had given the story to 
Why was his Mitchell name Samson. again? Eh? Mitchell Samson. Mm -hmm. Um, I I I don't Jay remember, Lilla. but um, um, I've seen him now, but I, I can't remember his name. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there was an eyewitness account, and they used that. And of course, the house where the eyewitness was around the bridge get the obligatory to the wow. So I watched this thing, and. I see. You. So they show the five, which it was which the back to. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I would write the story of the people who used the back to, so that those ancestors would have recognition, would have visibility, and that they they would once again come into the consciousness of the people and never be obliterated. Right. And so I write this thing. I swear I tell you that them ancestors write this thing because I would get up four or five in the morning and you know and the words would just come out. And it was a similar a similar experience to another play I was doing called Freedom Morning Come. Mm -hmm. And there are nights I swear that all these ancestors would converge in the room and be inside my head. So I write the play and carry it very proudly to NCC. <laughs> she said very proudly. <laughs> then I even look at it. it NCC, that's the same thing that um okay. <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's long time there, so they tell me go to see Kote Land Guinea and bring Rambo and the devil knows what. <laughs> After one or two years I walk along with this thing, I went to see Junior Williams. Mm. And see John Williams. June said, but this thing is excellent. And as a minister, she went to them and said, see, that's the goodness all they're doing there. <laughs> and to have an excellent scripture. And that's the genesis of it. Really? Leaves, pay public credit and thanks to Joan Uri Williams, mm -hmm. a minister of ministers of culture. Mm -hmm. And to Joan. You know, let me take an aside and say this about you. When Joan was minister, we had endless meetings about putting up. We even got a design for a pan theater. Mm. All kind of things. We sit down and had endless meetings. Nothing! Never. Nobody came out come to end this place. You can sit down getting dust, collecting dust. The plan sit down collecting dust. Stalin does. said, it is true to say, we ain't born no way. Mm. We still born born. Born man still. Love you, my brother. Mm. You royal, right. love you. <sighs> I tell you. So that would have been what year? When the first reenactment happened? 2004. 2004. When when the when the play was when, when, my, when yes when, when my play camera. went up yes, yes for the first time and you all have been doing it every single year since there was one year when we didn't do it I bought you that was a year <laughs> it was a year that was twenty eleven twenty eleven don't 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 talk about don't talk about we don't that's the year we don't talk about okay that's the year we don't talk about but every year besides that one year you all have done it since yeah. and there are people in this country who've never seen. The Campbell Bay reenactment. I and that's know. That's why I mean, that's why this year we put on more shows. Right. Because, you know, people, there are a lot of people who they have multiple things that they're doing. Yes. You know, they have all kind of fed that they're going to. And through. they cannot get a four o'clock in the morning. They cannot get a four o'clock in the morning. And plus, it's it's a small space. It's very oversubscribed. It could only hold a certain amount of people. Right. And so, you know, the possibility. Oh, wow. Originally, it was done 
by the corner of George and Duke Street, which is where opposite old stars. Opposite old stars right. right? Right. Which is where the, the fight actually happened. But it's all greedy space. Right. So we need the amount of people who were trying to come and jump up the road could not work. work. Right. So we found the NCC found another location in the area because it, the, the place is ready to give respect to the area, to, to East Dry River as a birthplace of. Kind. Y'all heard that, huh? East Dry River. <laughs> the birthplace. Not Woodbrook. Not Woodbrook. <laughs> Not West. East Dry River. Nicely. Right? So, <laughs> right now, we need to play East Dry River. Can't even sell us no own carnival time because all the mass go on west. Go on west. With, with 50 PP trucks and all inclusiveness. You know, yeah. and I think is that I sit here, I sit here as a hypocrite in, a, in some ways because I came up in the carnival tradition. You know, as I came from South and then play kiddies carnival. And you know, youthful, I want to come to town and play mass. And you tell when you reach the town to play mass, it's level feather. <laughs> you know, so you're playing feather for how much years? And then you say, no, I want clot. I want to experience, I want to experience your clot. But you're, you're, you're in a space that still, even though you feel as though you're getting more in touch, when you really break it down, it still doesn't acknowledge the roots of where we are at. So and your own roots. Your own roots. You understand what I mean? And that is the critical thing. Yeah, yeah. The African is now absent from the carnival. No, no, no. They want a new room. They want a new room. They want a new room. Okay, and it's, it's, it's the same thing. Member guy. Because in the days of the two carnival, the beautifully young white ladies used to be on the trucks mm. far away from the ordinary people. Now they're in the road, but the ropes are there with the big black men. Oh, mm. Now we just to hold them there rather than be in the center of the carnival. Why am I making trouble in the Congo, Marie Vey? Why am I making trouble in the Congo?